Hello and welcome back to the next mathematical symbol, which is today the element symbol. This is exactly written like this, so you take a lowercase c with a line inside it. And then you use it as a binary operator where we have a left hand side and a right hand side. On the right hand side you find a given set and on the left hand side an element of this set. So you would read it like lowercase a is in capital A. And now you can remember this is the sole operation we need to describe sets. Hence the visualization would be that the set capital A is such a collection of elements. This means if A in A is a two statement we would draw the lowercase a inside the capital A. However it's also possible that the set capital A is also an element in another larger set. So we could write capital A is an element of a larger set curved A. Hence for this it would mean the visualization is exactly the same. So capital A can be seen as a point in this curved A. So we learn such an object can be an element but also a set. So it can be on the right hand side but also on the left hand side. So in the visualization it would mean if you zoom in you see that this element has also elements for itself. So there we have it. This is the element symbol we use throughout mathematics to describe the element set relation. And if you want to learn more about this, I have a whole video course about this called Start Learning Sets. So let's meet there or on the next day for the next mathematical symbol.